experiment here. Let the flame get going just a bit. Uh, I can, uh, obviously I'll get burned if I touch the flame, but you know, I can put my hand over it and I feel just a little heat. I can close my eyes and turn away. And as I lower my hand, it's getting a little warmer. It's getting a little warmer. But you know, as soon as it starts to burn, even involuntarily, my hand's going to jerk away. No burn. Pretty clear. There's no time delay between the symptom of the problem, temperature getting warmer, and my response. That's not how the climate works. So now imagine that we'll do the same experiment, but uh, we're going to add a, let's say, 10 seconds time delay between when I start to feel the burn and when I can move my hand. Well, I hope you all don't mind if I don't actually use my hand, but uh, you should use the paper instead. Uh, let's go with this one. And in order to get the time delay, because, you know, I don't want to actually cheat here, with everybody's indulgence, I have uh, a few slips of paper, and this will create the time delay that we need. And if I could ask the counselors to participate, that would be very helpful. So, uh, what I'm going to do is simply pass around these pieces of paper. Don't open it up and read it yet. Uh, and when I ask you to, they're numbered. If, uh, Councillor Davis, you could open the first one and read it, and then we'll just go around, and you can read the next one, and we'll go around over here. So. So then, yes. Thank you. So when I ask you to start, Councillor Davis, I'll ask you to open the paper and into your mic and quite loudly for the room, read what it says, and then if just everybody else, we can go around in sequence, and that will create the time delay that we need. So, uh, go ahead and start. And study the issue. Emissions are, you know, it's getting a little warmer on planet Earth. Call for emissions reductions. Negotiate an international agreement. Increase research and development. Why new technologies? Begin to reduce emissions. Okay, I'd like to begin to reduce emissions now if it's okay with you. Get a fire extinguisher. But you can see that uh, it's too late. We've gone over the tipping point, and there is no bucket of water for our planet into which we can extinguish the fire. What you just saw was a very simple demonstration of the impacts of time delays and a tipping point in a complex system. We cannot wait and see. We have to take action today. There's no time to waste.